In this video, I'm going to show you how to create those reflected landscapes in Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Droll here. And as you can see, this is, th this is not the final output. I mean, I created this, but we will actually learn on different photo. So let's look at the examples first. So here's this one, this one, this, 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 and this, and that's about it. So I created all of this. Of course, idea is not mine. It's really popular on internet. So I'm gonna show you actually this on this file. Now I know this is not the most attractive one. Actually, my favorite one is this, but uh, this will allow me to showcase all the tricks that I wanna show. So to create this, let's open the file first. I'm gonna go to file, open and select the photo, open it. Okay, so we have the photo. After that, uh, right click here on your shape tool and then select a rectangle tool. Then draw a rectangle, whatever fits for your image, like how big you want it to be. The color doesn't matter, we don't need it. Okay, now I want this rectangle to be in center. So for that, I'm gonna press Ctrl A, then select my move tool, and I only want it center by in horizontal way, so I'm gonna select second last option. So it's in center, then go to select and deselect. After that, to move it up and down, simply you can use move tool, but when you do it, hold your shift key so you don't move it. So you don't end up doing this, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go and move it a little bit up here. After that, uh, we need copy of our background. So activate your background, then press Ctrl J. Then take this layer and put it on top of your background. Then press Ctrl T to have your transform option, then right click and then select flip vertical. So the image is upside down, go and confirm it. Now I only want this image to show up where the rectangle is. So right click and then select create a clipping mask. So it will only show up inside rectangle and make sure you have your move tool so you can move around image wherever you like. So I'm gonna move it somewhere around here. I am aligning this cloud so illusion looks a little bit better. Uh, and then let's move it sideways, something like this. So this looks cool. After that, uh, we need to fade out this portion. So for that, activate your rectangle, then select your brush tool from here. Right click, brush, uh, and then in the color here, make sure you have black color. After that, to paint on it, apply a layer mask. So click on this third icon, you have layer mask, and also make sure your brush is really soft. So right click here and make sure hardness is 0%. Then you just simply erase the bottom portion like this. And there you have it. This is how you can create this effect. It's that easy. Now I'm gonna show you some advantages of using this shape tool. Now let's say you wanna create that, you know, angle that I have in my original file. To do that, uh, right click here on this arrow and select direct selection tool. Then click on your shape like this and it will show up all the corners. Then hold down your shift key and drag this corner down like this. And it will look like that just that easy <laughs> and if you want to like make it bigger or smaller you can just go and select both of this and then make it big like that so it gives you insane amount of flexibility like whatever you want to do and let's say if you want to move both image and object both uh, you can uh, activate your rectangle hold your control key and click on the background copy now you can move around both of them just like that and you can also make them bigger or smaller together so simply press Ctrl T and hold your shift key and now you can make it bigger and smaller in case you need it. So I don't need it, so I'm gonna press Ctrl Z. So this is how you can create this effect. And using this same method, I created all of this. Uh, so you can also apply some variety. So it's the basic square, but this time I completely removed the left side and like kept the entire right side. So it gives a little bit of variety. And here I actually used a circle, really big circle. And if you're looking at layers, you will realize that I did not use shapes here. And it's not very convenient method it, because if you do it this way and you make any mistakes, you have to do it all over again. Uh, when here, where's the file? Where is the file? Okay, here. <laughs> so here, let's say if you do any mistakes, you can simply just modify the shape however you like. See, the image is completely like safe. You can move it wherever you like. So use the uh, rectangle, sorry, the shape method and you will be good to go. 
Also, I recommend that you select the images that are a little bit moody. As you can see, all of these are a bit darker and has certain aesthetic to it because like if it's really bright and basic daylight image, the effect doesn't look that attractive. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if it did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below. Till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.